Right. Well, I wanted to cover what what happens when you go dot new. See, when you create a local variable like this one here, you're actually creating it on your CPU. Now, this is computer hardware related stuff, so I thought I'd jump into this a little bit. So I went up searching for CPU images on Google. And I'm just going to look for something a little nicer. That looks pretty nice. Let's go with that. Alright. Basically what happens is, when you create a local variable, it actually stores the variable onto here. Right? Into your CPU. And your CPU is insanely fast. Like, it's so fast you could blink a thousand times and still be quicker than you. Okay? Uh, so that's how how local variables do their stuff. They put themselves the memory of that variable onto the CPU, and the CPU accesses it very quickly. So in initialize here, if I go local one equals seven, it puts seven into local one, and then puts local one onto memory in your CPU. All right. So this is controlled by your computer. You have very little access over what it does to that variable inside there. You can tell it to assign 7 and all that stuff, right? But after you do that, you, all you can do to it now is go local 1 equals 3, whatever. Okay? So, basically, you assign it here, and then as soon as it hits end, okay, your computer says to itself now, okay, they don't need it anymore, so delete it. So that's how a local variable does its stuff. So no matter what's inside a local variable, even if I put in my class dot new, is it here? It's still going to delete it. D it doesn't matter what local one is. Okay. All right. But when you assign dot new to something, instead of putting it onto the CPU, it instead puts it onto your RAM. Now, what your RAM is, you should know what your RAM is, but to put it nicely and for memory stuff, I'm going to make a grid here. And you can think of your RAM as made up of millions and millions of little square grids here. These represent memory. Okay, so, get a color here. Your computer on its own would take up all of this and down here and all that stuff as well okay so your computer just your operating system so since you're watching these videos I, I'm assuming you are using Windows that would use quite a lot of RAM already so it's already taken a lot away and then any programs you're running besides your operating system like Firefox over here or RPG Maker that would, that would take up even more memory okay now you have a crap load of memory for your RAM so you don't worry about that too much but what happens is when you go dot new on something you are telling the computer to put something in the RAM space so now here we have my class dot new and it's going to stay there because you are the one who has access to RAM the computer doesn't do things with it unless you tell it specifically to do it okay so now that we have my class dot new, this class here is going to be put onto the RAM and it's going to stay there until you tell it not to be there anymore. However, we are assigning this to a local variable. And as I said before, local variables are controlled by the computer. So even though I assign even if I assign this over here, my class equals my class dot new, even though I'm assigning this to the RAM as soon as this hits there this gets deleted but this remains and now I can't get rid of it and why because I've gotten rid of my only access to it so now my class on you the one that I've just made goes so if I do this my class on you and then my class 2 equals my class on you what I'm actually doing is I'm actually going creating the first one my class one local variable and then I'm creating over here my class another variable 
uh, another instance of that class because remember dot new goes there dot new goes there okay if I make a third one another one goes here a fourth one another one goes there and then there and so on and so on and so on okay and these are referenced by your local variable which is this so as soon as the computer says okay you don't need this anymore and I get rid of it well I haven't deleted the class so it's still going to be in my RAM space alright now it doesn't take up a lot of memory it only takes up about four bytes okay and four bytes is pretty petty when it comes to the amount of RAM space you get these days alright so you don't have to worry about you know deleting things that often but you should still be worried about it. In this case for Ruby, if you're using RPG Maker VX, you would have to be very wor worried about this. But in RPG Maker VX Ace, what they've done is they have included the latest version of Ruby. And Ruby is the programming language that we're using at the moment. So in the latest version of Ruby, they have included garbage collection and garbage collection is basically you don't have to dispose your classes anymore the computer will do it for you okay so that makes it a lot easier for you as a new programmer because you don't have to worry about these being deleted as your only reference but I'm mentioning these anyway because there are still some class types where you have to dispose it and I will cover these when we get into them but for now this class here you don't have to worry about it you know the stuff up here you don't have to worry about these being disposed either because the computer will handle this for you but there are some types where you have to dispose them manually and I will get into them at some point but for now all you have to know is when you say something don't you you are putting it onto RAM space okay and when you are making a local variable like this one you are putting it onto CPU space alright CPU space is covered by your computer and RAM space is covered by you. All right. So even if even though your operating system covers a crap load of your RAM space, your other programs that are running by the people who made that are also telling it to delete and new and all that stuff to the RAM. So that's already being covered. Okay? So as long as you understand the difference between the two, you should be all good.